Very nice. Um, obviously, a difficult opening round for you, I guess, giving your thoughts after the first five minutes as to how things were playing out. Well, uh, first round, I, he didn't stick with he, what he said. He said <laughs> I was going to trade, then he came straight for the takedown. And, but I stayed patient. A flashback came on my mind for my first fight in the UFC against Mihalid. It's the same situation. So I just warned him out, let him grind himself out on me so I could win the second and third. You know, second round, the guy saw that I almost knocked him out in the end. I was better. Third round, too. He scored a takedown in the end, but I don't think it was enough to win that round due to the damage that I put on him. I was going to ask you that opening round. Obviously, he won the round, but is it a round that you're almost proud of because you were in a really bad position where probably everybody's going to want to put you, but you showed that you can survive? Yes. Well, absolutely. You know what I mean? We talk about Jan Blahovic, you know, very experienced guy. He has 37 professional fights. He's been seasoned, been through all, you know what I mean? Some people might expect a little more, but I think, you know what I mean? You can see my evolution on the ground in a water cushion. Yeah, obviously, you said you took over the last two rounds. He did get that leg takedown. Uh, how concerned were you at all? I mean, were you confident that you were going to get the judge's decision, or are you worried at all that they might value that leg takedown too much? No, I believe he won because, you know, first round, he put Jan on a guillotine. He didn't want to jump, but, you know, it was tight. Then on the end of the round, he got his back, but you saw how patient he stayed. Second round, clearly everybody saw how fatigue and gas Ian got from the first round. So, you know, you saw the, what happened through that round. And on the third round, the same, his, same story. So that little takedown, he achieved no damage after that, anything like that. You'll be sad if somebody had gave the guy the fight. Are you expecting a title fight next? And who do you think is the most deserving opponent? Man, anybody, you know what I mean? For me, I think the toughest guy that I could get is Ian, former champ. So... Whoever they put in front of me, I'm going to train and going to live with the win.